Hey guys, hope y'all are doing great today. Welcome to part four of this week's food forest tours. This European plum, as we were talking about in the last video, the or the other one has just put on a ton of growth. This one is more about what I expect from them. It's got a little bit of growth, about you know, maybe two inches or so. There's about three, maybe four inches in some spots. The top's okay, but um Nothing like that other one, so it's been interesting to see how that other one's doing so well. Got some of these mounds right here in between done today, and this newly pool dug out. That's what they kind of look at like when they're freshly dug. It didn't have any water in there about an hour ago, so it's already uh, filling up. You can kind of see it's kind of neat. Water has certain spots that it'll seep in through, like it's coming up from the bottom probably. This spot right here, sometimes you hit a little little spot where the water will come out at and uh, it kind of, it'll fill up and kind of trickle down. It also looks like, that'd be hard to see because it's kind of in the shade, but it also looks like maybe right in that corner some of the water is also coming out from and seeping in. So by tomorrow, I would bet it will probably be up to the, the right below the first level. That's usually where they fill up to. Um, so about right there. So it'll fill up with quite a bit of water already. So um, and this this also did not have any water in it. So even that, that lower section right there is filling up. So it's kind of cool to see when you dig it and then it starts filling up with water. And sometimes, sometimes like the, yesterday, I was digging that one over there and it started getting so wet that I was having trouble finishing. So I was having to hurry and dig it out before it filled up on water on me. Got some blackberries I planted this week in front of some of the fruit trees. There's one right down there and it's just protected with these, uh, kind of like with the limbs. It's been so successful. Just opted with that instead of spending money on cages when I can use those for a small plant. It's nice, always nice to save some money and do it naturally. You don't have to worry about it getting in the way. You know, the sticks will break down or fall down once the plant gets big enough. Other stuff will grow up around it and protect it. So really really cool european plum right here's got a little tiny bit of growth not much though some blueberries also on these one year transplants that were separated from the mother plants from the previous videos looking really good apples starting to get some good shoots coming out down there from the very bottom we'll probably be pushing out some new top growth soon i see it turning some little tiny green leaves right there so it should be coming soon this one is empty just planted with a lot of the cool weather veggies right there in the middle I added some other soil around it recently when I, I was digging out somewhere I think maybe digging this trench because <laughs> this pool is yet to be dig out you can still see it's kind of wet just from uh, just from being this deep kind of sticky wet so um, the water definitely you know has been has been congregating sinking down into this level for the most part even when we hadn't had rain we um we had kind of some thunderstorms a few days ago but not much rain it didn't really really any worth talking about so it's been about a week or maybe even two really before, since we've had a really good rain so I think we might get that actually tonight or to actually tomorrow night so try to get some of these seeds planted before that comes these are the seedling apple trees down there it's that one still hadn't leafed out yet but uh these blueberries right here they're looking pretty good the small ones there's another blackberry down in there looking really good not really looking great yet actually because i just transplanted and it was Kind of some small plants that I got for the money, but, uh, you know, nothing nothing too horrible, but wish they were a little bit bigger, but oh well. Call, this is Mount Apple right here. <laughs> yeah. oh, I need to put that cage back around it. Speaking of that, I forgot to do that. But thankfully, the, the mounds also seem to help keep the deer out of it for the most part. <laughs> they don't, um, you know, I, I thought the deer wouldn't really mind climbing and, um, you know going through the ditches but 
having these earthworks and just a little bit of elevation has actually helped keep the deer out in general i haven't seen nearly as many uh, tracks from them so that's really nice that's another cool feature just besides you know creating uh you know differences in the landscapes for different plants all kinds of different things growing you know storing more water actually and also and also creating drier spots where things that like that can grow and all the insect diversity that's been just coming has been amazing so it's really really neat this one apple looks really healthy got lots of good growth coming out there so that's really good to see little cherries actually got some growth coming out so uh looks like that one's doing good too so that's good to see it's the big plum tree i'm pretty sure it's safe to say that these graphs have failed unfortunately but you live and you learn so i know how to do it a little bit different next year that new growth actually from right below the graft right there from this the main tree variety so uh at least it's filling back in where i <laughs> i messed it up at so that's good and uh let's see if we can find a few plums on here looks like it just dropped quite a few it had a oh, wow there's a huge one up there i don't know if it's kind of hard i can't find it on the camera but it's like almost nickel size already let's see if i can find some it was loaded i don't know what happened maybe it had a late some late uh cold weather may have done it yeah that's the only plum that i can see on the whole tree so uh we did have some crazy early hot weather and then it got cold again so that could have damaged them and um it made a ton of plums last year so it had a had a big crop last year so that may have also contributed but uh no wonder that plum's so big already it's got the whole tree's worth of energy focused into one plum at least the only one i could find so that's funny young japanese plums doing pretty well some nice good growth on there about six inches on that middle one or so so that's good to see a little apple tree with some growth coming out this is one of the seedling apple trees moved to the food forest it's looking really healthy it's about maybe 18 inches high but the growth so far looks really dark green and healthy so should be interesting with that one to see how that does this tree's this apple tree in the middle has got all kinds of stuff surrounding it got a service berry right here or got a saskatoon also it's got a blackberry right down in front another service berry this one's starting to leaf out actually right here got some good leaves starting to come out on there so that's good to see Got another seedling apple tree right over here. That one's leafing out too. I think that was the second tallest one. That first one was the biggest one. So they're looking really good so far. Should be really interesting to see how they do. Still gotta dig this pool out. Pretty much got the first layer done and uh, start doing the second layer. Um, kind of have to do that one and if, if there's if it's wide enough to have a third layer deep and uh, kind of have to do that one at the same time or it may fill up with enough water to where you, it's really hard to dig out the third layer because it's so wet. Second bigger apple tree is looking really good so far. Got lots of healthy shoots coming out. So that's really nice to see. Hopefully it'll fill up really nice and got these super tall branches that grew all those just last year. So hopefully that'll really fill in and maybe even can Maybe taste some apples next year. That'd be awesome. Got the fencing removed from the black locust. You can see I need to pick it up still. <laughs> Actually, that one blew over. I just saw that's some of the fencing right there that was removed. I love the way the black locust looks. Spiky, just a little bit. But uh, looks really cool. This last older apple tree is starting to finally leaf out a little bit. 
and I'm wearing the shade back here. It looks healthy though so far, so hopefully they'll get big enough to maybe make some apples next year. Probably not, but <laughs> you can dream, right? But uh, thanks guys for joining me for part four of this week's Food Forest Tours. If you liked it, please hit the like button, comment that you liked it, love to say thanks for that, and just say hey. And I hope y'all have had a good day so far, and I'll see you guys soon in part five.